Hey everybody, Thrasher121 coming back at you with another YouTube video today. And I wanted to surprise you and add a new segment to my channel, and I'm going to call it Thrasher121's Tips, Tricks, and Missing Videos. I really hope you like it, and it's as fun for you as it is for me. So, let's get started. So, the first segment of this video is going to be called Favorite Bricks. And here's my first one. It is a 1x8 cross axle, as you can see, and it has a little bit of a stopper on the end. This is such a great Lego axle. I love it. It fits all my needs. As you can see, let me get it up closer. It works perfectly fine. It actually is the axles for Earthquaker's wheels, the spikes on Blade Runner's spikes, and it actually helps hold Mayhem's wheels on. So this is a very versatile brick, and you don't have to waste any space putting a stopper on the end because it already has a stopper built in. Now as for my other brick, I have slider plates. These work so well for Lego robots, big and small, like my little push strike versions that I've shown of BattleBots. But for the big bots, they help relieve weight off the wheels. It really helps and it also allows a finished look to a creation. They work so well. I really like them. I wish I could have found them in the same color, but you know, it works so well. And now on to the next part of my video. So I have a golden retriever and I wanted to build my whole family and pet, you know, pets and all. And I wanted to build the dog. So I've been thinking, I only have one dog and it's a Dalmatian. I wanna have something that looks a lot more like a golden retriever. And here it is. It fits on two studs on a three stud long space. And you see it's more of a depth perception kind of dog because Two legs are supposed to be in the one stud part of the thing. And it really works well. It looks so good. And here's how to build it. So here are all the Legos you'll need to build a golden retriever. And you can use this same technique for any type of dog. Just use different colors. So first things first, we're going to need two one by one gold cones. And we're going to set them down. They'll be the legs. And a one by one white stud. We're going to put a one by three plate. And we're going to put it on top of the, one, of the white stud. Next, we're going to put the cones where the white stud isn't, on these two empty stud spaces. And we'll get a little bit of something like that. Next, we're going to take three more studs, two golden and one yellow, and put them on the top of the 1x3 plate. We'll then sandwich that with another 1x3 plate, creating a thickness of the dog. Now, we'll put a clip on the back and a nunchuck piece from Lego Ninjago sets. I don't approve of that as a Christian, however, because I just realized that Ninjago isn't that good. However, the piece still works very well for a lot of Legos, and I really like it. So now you're going to need another cone, and you're going to put three one by one gold studs on top of that. This forms the tail and allows you to place this onto the nunchuck, creating a nice tail. Now we're going to take a golden stud, and we're going to put it on here. And just realize you'll have to take off the nunchuck piece allow that to happen and we're going to put a yellow stud on the front we're going to put a black clip on top of that allowing us to attach the head nunchuck piece to that's right you'll need a second one now as you may see it's already getting a dog-like shape and feel to it so we're going to take a gold cone and we're going to put that on the front end of the nunchuck like so and we're going to take two yellow one by one by two thirds wedge slopes. They'll make the ears of the dog. As so, as you may see. Now we're just going to put the head on and you are done. Here is your Lego Golden Retriever. It's such a nice build. I really like this and this is all my build. I didn't find it anywhere else. It turned out so well and I really hope you like it. Now on to the next segment of my video. Now it's time for another part of my video which I like to call separating power functions. So, I have Blade Runner showing what to do, and all you'll need for this is a brick separator. So on the battery boxes, and I'll just take off this top armor piece, put if I can ever get it off. There we go. So I'll just take the brick separator and I'll put it on like this. And boom, I have separated the receiver's cord from the battery box. It works so well. Let me just put that right back on. Because you know, this is a bottom mine. I don't want to take it apart. And now, 
Okay, you may be thinking, what about the receiver? That is somewhat more tricky, but that's why there's a prior for this. You'll use the prior end, and you'll just take off the top piece, and I'll just use this. Boop, there's one. And mm, the second one's considerably harder. I'm gonna try this one. Okay, it is harder, but you still don't have to use the wires to pull them apart, which I know can actually break the cord. Well, I hope you liked that part of the video. And now, time for a new part of the video. And now, I'm going to show you Earthquaker self-writing. I really hope you like it. Here we go. Is that a cool video or what? I really love seeing Earthquaker self-write. I was a little afraid before because the hammer was so flimsy it actually broke quite easily. However, with the, with the added strength, it works like a charm now and I don't have to worry about getting flipped over by other bots, even though Blade Runner didn't have a flipper. So I hope you liked this video where I got to show you a missing video of one of Earthquaker and Blade Runner's flights, some of my favorite bricks, how to take power functions apart with a brick separator, and also how to build a Lego Golden Retriever. It worked so well, and I'm so proud of all my Legos. So, as always, remember to like and subscribe to this video, and watch all my other videos. They're so cool, and you, got to, and you get to see how I did Blade Runner, and I'm also making a series, a mini-series, about how to build Mayhem. It's really cool, and I should be coming out with another video soon. So, as always, Joshua Hunwell.